You know what is seriously pissing me off right now? In a roundabout way, copy protection. And I'll tell you why. A lot of people already know this, but copy protection sometimes forces uh, games not to work, even for legitimate users using legitimate copies of the game on otherwise perfectly decent systems. In fact, when I loaded up a game like Bioshock, it wouldn't work because it kept saying that, oh, I had like a virtual drive running or please insert a legitimate copy of the game, no copies of this disc are allowed, that sort of thing. It's always pissed me off. And for some reason, I've always had really, really bad luck with that sort of thing. And so, like an asshole, I'm stuck traipsing around on the support forums, begging people for some kind of patch that'll help me do it. Because there's only a few ways around that. And one of the ways is finding a no-CD patch to illegally make your legal copy of the game work. It sucks. But I've got a new computer now, and I've had a bit more luck with it. But I still have to, because I don't want to be at all illegal, I still, for every game I have, even games that are fully downloaded or installed on my computer, have to put the disc in every time I want to play a game. It kind of bites, because it's not always necessary. It's rather annoying having to track down the game on your shelf and put it in, just because there's some security measure requiring me to do that for a game I actually own. I don't know what the solution to that is. I'm not a smart guy. I'm a computer scientist and all that. But, you know, this is a security problem that probably should have been hammered out a long time ago. And my main problem is when I buy a game, I open it up and I find this. Do you see what this is? Forget the game inside. That's immaterial. It's Sid Meier's Railroads, which I bought at a used bookstore. I do a lot of shopping at used bookstores because I play out and review a lot of old games. But this... How many times have you opened up a game and found a CD-ROM in a fucking paper envelope? Doesn't that just piss you right off? Because you know what that means, right? You've got this thing. It, like, you know you've, had, you've heard the nerd bitch about not games not having end labels on certain games? Like, this doesn't even have an end, okay? This is fucking two-dimensional. There's nothing to label. What am I supposed to do with this. What am I supposed to do with these? You see these? These are all games that I own and I have no idea what the fuck any of them are. Like, what do you do with these? If I want to play a game, like let's say I have Sid Meier's Railroads in the middle of this stack, okay? And I want to play it. What do I do? I, I I have a few options here. I can either spend my entire weekend sifting through here like a douchebag, looking through the one game I want to play, and because I'm a slob, I don't have these all organized in even one place. You know, look, I just found Law and Order, Justice is Served in here, and this is like, like, I could alphabetize them, I suppose, but like, do you really see me sitting around and doing that? Like, I know I'm pretty sad, but like, really alphabetizing my games? Okay, the other alternative is I can go out and I can buy a shitload of empty jewel cases, I can put all these discs in the jewel cases, and I can print up labels for every one of these games, find shelf space for them and put them up there. Like, I, this is like work I have to do myself. Work I have to do because I purchased your stupid game and I got a paper sleeve. Like, I know what you're thinking now. Like, you're, this is a freakish amount of games. Nobody would ever own this many games but you being a game reviewer. You know what? Fine. Let's accept that for now. But this is not a localized phenomenon. This is not like one game out of a hundred. This is like almost every game you can buy nowadays that aren't in those little DVD cases. In fact, those are the only games today that I can be 100% sure don't come in those paper sleeves. If they come in a box, you can almost be assured that they're going to be in a paper sleeve nowadays. I don't know why. Is it like some cost-saving measure? Is it is it time saving? Is it weight? It could be weight, but I just don't get why you would save that much money. Like, how much does it cost when, really, when you're, when you're shipping in that kind of volume, you're producing that many discs? Is it like a few cents, two or three cents? I'll pay that. I'll pay the extra money for the fucking CD case and a label, because I, I hate having to sift, sift through those things. And it's not even bad games. It's not like, it's not like, uh, like SWAT 4 came in those discs, uh, it came in those little sleeves. It, it, Sid Meier's Railroads, you might argue, was kind of a small-time game. No, 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 no. These are major games. Like, new games that you can buy. For instance, it's like Half-Life 2, okay? Half-Life 2 came in, like, five of these. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, I even had to write down Half-Life 2 
on the on the case. So I knew, like, when I was looking through the next five discs were going to be Half-Life 2. Like, like, the orange box kind of resolved that because it came in one of those DVD things. But, like, I, I bought Half-Life 2 when it was new. And I can't even put those in a CD case, really, unless I'm willing to put in a bunch more work. You know why? Because a lot of these discs, to combat the whole copy protection fiasco, have these serial numbers on the bottom of the paper sleeve. So I can't throw the paper sleeve out unless I'm willing to find some way to put it in a CD case and then put an insert inside the CD case that has the CD label on it. So now I have to handwrite or type up some label inside the CD case with the fucking serial number on it. And knowing me being an idiot, I will make a typo or write down a number wrong, like a 1 looking like a 7 or an L or something like that, and get the number wrong. Half-Life 2 had that. SWAT 4, which was like three discs, each one of those paper sleeves had a serial number on it. So now I have to have three CD cases with three different serial numbers on it. It bites. I just have to, like, it's, it's like fucking construction at this point. You know, I have to do a project every time I have to open up the CD case. You know, no other console has this problem. PC gamer, it's so hard being a PC gamer nowadays because, like, like you just have paper sleeves. It takes you 40 minutes to find the fucking game you want to play anymore. I, I just don't understand. Why can't, like, I've seen several games that print the serial number on the inside of the instruction book and put the instruction book on the inside of a DVD case. You know, that was kind of ingenious, but even now, like, I find budget titles, I find all sorts of games that still come in the paper sleeves. Why do they do that? Assholes!